Hi, I'm Nick with How to Radio, and in this video, I'm gonna get you started on Facebook using OBS. A couple months ago, I talked to Sean Tempesta, and you can watch the video here, but in there, we talk about all the things that you need to go live to look like you're not doing it from your phone. And one of the things we've always said is OBS. You need like a broadcasting software, but it's kind of not user-friendly. And so I've had a couple people reach out to me over the last couple weeks saying, I don't understand any of this on OBS. Could you help explain? So I thought this would be the perfect video to do for this week on how to radio. I'm going to explain what a scene is, what the sources are, how to put in a PNG logo, and how to go live on Facebook using OBS, all in this video on this week's how to radio. All right, so you're ready to go live. You're ready to take uh, your Facebook lives to the next level. You download OBS. You're like, I got this. This should be pretty easy. You open it up and you go, what the hell am I looking at? <laughs> it's the same exact thing that I did when I first downloaded OBS. First thing we're gonna talk about is scenes. So think of scenes as this. So this is scene one. In scene one, I wanna add sources. Sources are the things inside scenes. For instance, in this scene, I've added video as a source, audio as a source. And if you wanted to add, let's say a logo, you can add that in as a source as well. Hello logo. These are all sources inside your scene. So. How do you add a source into a scene? The first thing you need to do is start a scene. So you hit the plus sign here, add a scene, you name what it is. So how to radio two, we'll call it that. So now you have your scene. This is two different scenes you got here. So scene two, you need to tell scene two what you want inside of it. So you wanna add a video source. You're gonna go, you're gonna name it camera one if you have multiple cameras or whatever, whatever the hell you want to name it. Find your camera, which could be the FaceTime webcam. It could be the HD Pro cam. Hello. So we'll do this one. Um, don't worry about the presets or anything like that. Just go with what it gives you. So now you have your very first uh, video source. So these red things mean you can move it around. There we want to go here. I'm hella close. There we go. And now we need to add audio in. So I'm using a Yeti. Let's get the audio from here instead of the HD cam because that's going to be terrible. Um, so we go into settings. Find the audio. Mic auxiliary. We want to go Yeti. We hit OK. And now you have the levels, see there, uh, from the Yeti coming in. So ta-da. Uh, so now you have a mic and you have a camera. If you wanted to add more to the scene, you totally could. But if not, you have this shot that's you on camera and that's pretty much all you really need. But I'm sure you would like a logo. So we're gonna throw in a logo. Same way you did the video, except now you're gonna add an image. So image right here. Make sure that your image is PNG, which means transparent. Um, you can have this on Photoshop. A lot of companies have their own transparent logo, um, but it looks bad when it's a box. Wolf logo, transparent with a border. Looks good. Okay. There it is. There's the logo. So now you can adjust this wherever you want to put it. Close top corner. That looks like a, like a good empty spot. So now you got a logo and it's taken the video that you did on your phone and made it look like this. So this is a little better. Obviously the lighting is crap but now you look like a professional, you got a logo. The other thing you're seeing are two videos, right? You're seeing one on the left, one on the right. Well, one of these is your, here's what I'm about to show you video. And the other one is what is live. So if I went to scene one, which is the how to radio, this is the scene that's getting ready to go live. And obviously there's nothing on this scene, but what I wanted it to go live, I would hit transition. So people are seeing on Facebook live, the one on the right, you're only seeing the one on the left. This is where you can make adjustments, move your, like say your logo didn't look good, you can move the logo down here. And then you're like, uh, you go live and bam, it's there. So now here I am on Facebook, ready to go live on my personal Facebook page. But if you wanted to go on your station's website, all you would have to do is just go to your station's Facebook page. That's pretty much it, but it's the same process. Also shout out Rico Garcia asking a question in Radio Peeps. <laughs> Radio Gaga wave file. What you wanna do is you wanna hit live video. It's gonna pull up a bunch of options. What you're looking for is a stream key. Right now you're on use camera and you would just go live like it's on your phone. But stream key is how you get OBS into Facebook to go live. So you wanna click on use stream key. And obviously 
I'm going to blur my stream key because each one of these is unique uh, to the Facebook page that you're going live to. I also recommend clicking this use persistent stream key button right there because then you won't have to update your stream key every time you go live. It'll just go live to that stream key every time. So what you want to do is hit copy under the stream key button right there, copy, and it'll copy it to your clipboard. Also, you'll see this live video here that says waiting for live video. That's normal. I'll explain in a second. You want to go back to OBS once you've copied your stream key, go into settings, go into stream, and there you have your stream key right there. And you would just paste it into your stream key. So now OBS knows where to send your streaming signal. That's how the stream key works. What you do now is hit start streaming in OBS, and it's going to send the video to that stream key. You're not live just yet. You want to go back to Facebook and see that little video that says waiting for live video you'll appear in that live video. It's not gonna do it here because I have like 20 things running. After your picture pops up, that's your stream. So then you wanna go over to, on your Facebook, to the left hand side, you're gonna see fit go live. This is where you put the title of your video, where you want it to go, and then when you're ready, hit go live and you'll be live. And then you'll go back to OBS and run your show. And that's it. It's super simple to get started. OBS is complicated to use and you can set up as many scenes as you want, add as many elements as you want, move all your cameras around. That's where you start getting into lower thirds and stuff like that, but that's a whole different uh, ball game. As for now, the basics to go live on OBS, you need a camera, you need a mic, and you need a logo. Hello, little logo. If you want to get it to spin, that's six hours I can't get back on my life, but I wanted a logo that spun, so I had to learn how to do that, and I kind of like it. Worth it. Hopefully I explained everything okay, and uh, you kind of understand OBS a little bit better now. It's not as daunting as it once seemed, once you get the scenes and the sources ready, but then it can do whatever you want it to do. So there's a lot of potential in this, but if all you want to do is put a logo on your video, done. If you have any questions or want to take it to the next level and you want to know how to do that, you can always hit me up. You can Facebook me, you can Instagram me, whatever it is, however you want to access me socially, uh, you can do that, but I'm always willing to help. Thanks again for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. Hi.